it's still a very strong case from an evidentiary perspective. You have the pictures and the indictments. You have Trump being recorded, making admissions, and also his own posts on social media where he says, I knew these documents were classified. I have a right to have them. The problem is that that legal argument fails. You're admitting knowledge and intent. The challenge will be to find jurors that are willing to follow the law, that aren't going to bring their own views into this case. And the potential for jury nullification is real, especially in a case like Florida, which throughout American history has been the most notoriously difficult to predict. The next step is really a determination that is up to the defendant. Donald Trump, in his public remarks, has said that he would like a speedy trial. And if he actually demands a speedy trial, then he is entitled to a very, very rapid process. I don't think there's a chance in the world that his public remarks and his private litigation strategy will square up at all. I think he will file motions to suppress evidence. I think he will file motion after motion in order to try and drag this case out. Obviously, Donald Trump wants to push this past the November 2024 election. And the reason is this. It's well established that no sitting president can be prosecuted. So if he wins, the case goes away. Even if another Republican like DeSantis wins, I would expect that they would try to fire special counsel Jack Smith for good cause. So I think delay is Trump's friend in this case. Of course, if a trial happens earlier, it could certainly affect the results of the election. And if we do get 12 jurors that are willing to just follow the evidence, this may be a case where Trump not only gets convicted, he gets actual prison time.